Good morning and welcome to another short devotional for Black Rock Baptist Church and also Morristown Baptist Church. I want to speak to you this morning about exchanging your panic for God's peace. Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30 is where our focus this morning. You know, it's hard to think of another time of the year when our, our lives are more rushed <clears throat> and cluttered than the holidays. We hit the holiday parties, we visit with our relatives, we buy gifts, we basically run ourselves ragged. We may sing about peace on earth, but the Christmas season, for most of us, we're not experiencing it. So what's the antidote to all of this busyness and cluttered time of year? Another night out, a, a relaxing trip, a week of sleep. Those activities might refresh your body, but they're, they will hardly restore your soul. When we're empty inside, our culture tells us we need more. We need to do more. We need to go more. We need to be more. Jesus says something totally different. The antidote for our overloaded soul this time of year isn't a time management program. It's not a philosophy. It's not a plan or a person. It's Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Have you ever exchanged your panic for God's peace? These verses we just read from Matthew chapter 11 give us three important clues as to how we can exchange our panic for God's peace. First of all, it says, Come unto me. Come to Jesus. This is not a once and done thing, but rather it's something we need to do every day. No matter what the problem, no matter how deep the hurt, we bring it to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Secondly, we connect with Jesus. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. The yoke is a piece of wood that puts two cattle together to pull a cart. It makes the load easier because the two cattle are sharing the load. Jesus doesn't want you to carry your burdens alone. You weren't designed to do that. You weren't put together that way. He wants you to yoke up with him. He wants to share your burdens. Connect with Jesus. Come to Jesus, connect with Jesus, and thirdly, let Jesus change you. He says, I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Jesus wants you to learn from him. And as you do, he'll change you in that process. For example, Matthew 11 tells us he wants to make us more humble and gentle. You might think that the road to real peace would be about endurance and stamina. But God knows what causes stress in our lives. He knows humility and gentleness are the antidotes to the two biggest causes of stress in our lives, arrogance and aggression. Jesus wants to give us a better way, but you have to learn it from him. You must let him change you. The Bible says you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Are you tired of being stressed out all the time? Are you ready to have true peace that only comes from Jesus? It's ours for the taking. It's a free gift from God to you and I because of his love. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Join with us again as we continue through the week and continue to look at our short devotionals. And until we meet again, let's continue to exchange prayers daily.